Get out of the way, boy! Oh! <laughs> From behind the camera, I will tell you that this is a skipper. It is dark. Henceforth, we have night skipper. Woo! Alright, let's see if it sparks. Oh, oh that's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh. I, don't, I don't know where it's going. Dag Mammoth, as Dag you'd say Dag. down here. He got it. He's got it. Oh, uh, look at it. Like a monster from the deep. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Landing! Landing! Where's my floor? Stop walking so close to it. Stop shining the sun in my eyes. <laughs> uh, Matt Enhanced is uh, need, need a more. making me more powerful. He's adding a forest to the skipper. We think that should be alright. No, 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 no! No! <laughs> Hit it! Oh. <laughs> please, 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 You are so please. not getting off, Stuart. Can you care to join me? I don't think I have a choice. Can you give me a hand, Matt? Yes, I'm <laughs> <laughs> All aboard. Turn off the camera. Um, this is not <laughs> at all. I'm going over here. Are we moving? <laughs> it's the boat of shame, not the boat of speed. I can't even hear it. I can see the green light. <laughs> I can see the green light. Thankfully, Stuart made his down. fail plane freakishly bright, so... So, in many ways, it didn't, in fact, not fail. In every way except the actual working part of that, that part was the idea. I love a little ghost and that one's Um, so, day three, Jonal. Three, two, one. Begin. Yeah. <laughs> what else do we want to do? Good morning guys, it's Wednesday at Joe and All. We're calling this Warbird Wednesday morning. Our good buddy Stuart is gonna take you around and talk a bit about his favorite thing, Warbirds. Uh, I'm making some more progress on the carrier, more updates on that in the carrier challenge. We will be going down to the 3D line about three o'clock this afternoon to check out some of that action. In the meantime, these guys are gonna be kind of running around the show, seeing what we can see, talking to some folks. I've got an interview coming up later, either today or later in the week with Pat Hartness about the history of Joe and All, why it's called Joe and All, all that stuff, so stay tuned. Ryan, the sweet heart that he is, has just arrived. There he is. Hello! On sweaty. <laughs> oh, I like it. Uh, he's got a sky mule, but he's got a sky mule with a twist, and he's about to show you and preclude, can't even say it, preclude <laughs> what he's about to do with the sky mule. Right. I've got it in the car, let me go get it, put it together. Had a long drive, so I'm not too sure how it's gonna work out. I'll try my best. Come on. Yeah, we'll be fine. All right, guys. Are you ready for some seahorse action? There you go. I programmed a mix, so if I flip my gear switch and then hit the rudder. We got differential thrust. Watch out, you don't need a rudder on the water. Can sit on the beach? Sure. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Stop! Alright guys, so the Sky Mule on floats. Definite winner. She may not look too pretty, but I'll tell you what, on these floats, it looks awesome. It's still morning, just. 
I'm now gonna go find some warbirds for Wednesday warbird morning. Yes. 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 Really nice MiG-15 done in a Russian aerobatic or display team colours. It looks like he's about ready to go up. There's some Horizon guys standing there, so I hope they don't mind. Uh, I'm gonna go have a look. In fact, my old boss Ali, who now works for Horizon, looks like he's about to take up a MiG-15. Let's go see that. First war birds. This is a um, really look like a socket strutter. First World War biplane, slow and beautiful in my mind. There's a few of those here. The big triplane you saw the other day being one of these first generation war birds. And then from that, you've got the Corsair from the Second World War right up to the jets that we saw with the MiG 15. Definition of a warbird that can be a little blurred. For me, it's anything that's seen service in any air force, a military air force, at any time during any conflict or out of conflict. That's a warbird. So, for example, you've got the cub there. Not a fighter as such, but still a warbird. It's uh, served in a theater of conflict. P 47, definitely. You even got this bad, I think it is. Definitely served as a warbird. The uh, Stearman over there didn't fire any bullets in anger during any conflict, but trained pilots to then go into combat. So again, it's a warbird and a very nice one too. Have you just seen the pup? The Iron Decker was the nemesis of the pup in this guy. Very nice Iron Decker there, sir. I like to think I know warbirds. Okay, my first world war not as much as my second. It looked like an iron deck. It is an iron deck. Right. But it's a false iron deck. It's yeah. not a proper iron deck. Why is that? Fals came, uh, had the iron deck before Falcon. Okay, yeah. alright. So, this is like the first thing. So this is the first. And again, is it by magic, another warbird. I'm actually referring to that one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that big one in the background that you must have missed. It's an albatross, another German First World War. Uh, would have been a fighter along with the, the Fossil Iron Deck we saw there. I'm going to shut up and just let, let the model talk. Itself. saw the warbirds which was pretty awesome yes there was a ton of them out there and now as Matt alluded to earlier we're headed to the 3d line to check out some well we've got that uh, we've got uh, Steve who we met from uh, flying giants flying giants that's right sorry flying giants uh, it seemed like a nice bunch of guys they invited us down we're hoping to get some good introductions to those uh, showboatmen that are the 3d pilots and see what we can pick up there and it's just down there now we good Let's go. Let's do it. Guys, we're down on the 3D line. Please pardon the noise. I'm here with uh, <laughs> I'm here with Jonathan Jennings, one of the team pilots with AeroWorks. We've got a new plane to show you. Uh, tell me a bit about it. Though. It's the prototype X2 6060cc, brand new plane, it's not even on the market. The production models will be out late May, early June. So specs of the airplane, you know, we got the inner and outer SFGs. We actually have SFGs here on the elevator. Basically, it helps with knife edge, precise flying. It's a very good flying airplane, and I like it a lot. So, uh, you know, the, what we like to do with prototype planes, whenever possible, is put them in dangerous situations oh, yeah. over water. Let's yeah. do some of that.
Okay, so that was the end of day three at Jonal. Again, very hot and dusty. We saw uh, some pretty flying. We saw Ryan's float uh, sky mule, which we call now the seahorse. Seahorse. That was very impressive. And uh, we got some warbird action and some cool jet action. Uh, I hear, and we've been told with some urgency that there's a nasty storm coming for tomorrow. So we're going to have to get inventive with what we show you tomorrow because it might just be raining. Anyway, we will see you then. Thank you for watching today and good night.